Also in Missouri, state news, more than 230,000 Missourians who have become eligible for Medicaid beginning this summer could have to wait to sign up. Governor Parson announced on Twitter today that he's dropping his plan to expand Medicaid. KQ2's Madeline McLean spoke to a local agency about how that affects the area's most vulnerable people. Thousands of low-income adults left in a confusing bind after Missouri officials dropped voter-approved Medicaid expansion plans. It's hard to put into uh, words and, and numbers about how impactful that's going to be for kids. The decision directly affects adults and children served locally by CAP. Here's the director, Whitney Lanning. It's hard to get our kids preventative care. Um, they're in what's called the coverage gap, so their parents um, are working, uh, but they make too much to qualify for Medicaid, but not enough to qualify for tax credits for affordable care options. Hospitals also had a lot riding on expansion. We're disappointed. Dave Dillon, spokesperson for Missouri Hospital Association, says the funding would have helped pick up some of that $1.5 billion hospitals spent last year on uncompensated care. And the burden placed on emergency departments, which are extremely expensive to use uh, for the wrong type of care. Governor Mike Parson putting on social media that he had withdrawn his request to expand the state's health care program, pointing out the Missouri lawmakers refused to pay for it. The Republican-led legislature argued over and over again that it was just too expensive. That argument may have been more salient in August of last year than it is today. Uh, the the uh, federal government would, in essence, be picking up the tab uh, for this expansion. Um, th there was a significant uh, increase in incentives for states. The decision now likely to end up in court. Everybody's estimation was this was going to end up in litigation. Uh, this just solidifies uh, further that that will be the case. And if not there? Look for clowns and lions because the big top's going up and I do not know what's going to happen. And as state officials punt the issue, Lenning says everyone else will lose. Having healthy families and having healthy kids really translate into a, translates into a healthy workforce. Reporting in St. Joseph, Madeline McLean, KQ2 News. Thank you, Madeline. The constitutional amendment was set to go into effect in July.